Okay, how to set up scan to file on a Toshiba. This is a color 456. So the first thing we're going to do is go up to login. We're going to log in as admin. And the password and username are just admin. And the password is 123456. So we're going to log in. Sorry about the movement of the camera. I'm holding it in one hand while I'm doing this. So we're going to log in. The first thing we have to set up is remote 1 or remote 2 to get those set up the way we need them. So we're going to go to administration at the top, which I just missed. But administration, and then we're going to go to save as file. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to check. Uh, I should we focus? Send documents directly to um, file path, and then we're going to go to delete documents. That doesn't matter. Use network folder destination, and then um, I'm going to scroll down here. And then we have save without creating a subfolder. Under file composition, we have, you know, make the file like a scanned manuscript. We don't want just one page. And then user, name, password of the device. Here's the important part. Remote 1, if you notice on remote 1, it's got remote 1 checked. SMB is set up. Um, we're going to have this thing right here where it says allow users to select network folder use as a destination so then at that point like when that is all done we hit save at the top and then we're gonna have to hit okay it's gonna ask us to save it again now we are going to go up to the top and log out we're gonna go into the regular not admin mode we are going to go to registration And we are going to go in to our templates. Now we're just going to go to this particular one I already set up, but uh, it scans. Once we go into the template, we can label the template. Looks like up here, we're going to, I'm just going to show you how we can edit, just label it, whatever you want. Scans. I think it's probably already labeled that. Uh, hit save. Then when you go in to create, and here is where you create each individual user. By default, if you choose scan, it's going to set it up as a scan to. It'll say scan to file here. But I just changed this one to scan to carry. That's fine. And if you look at it, we'll edit. Uh, now we'll choose scan up here as a tick box. Then we'll also choose save as file. And here are our panel settings. Scan to carry. We, I changed that in panel setting. Also, you want to make sure that into save as file, this is where you actually will put in the credentials for each individual folder. So you can see I'm using remote one but it's not actually going to um, it's a user setting. So I changed this to their file path in here to each individual person's folder where I use Carrie here. Uh, her username and password and then um, of course go up to the top. Don't forget to save it every time and then uh, you're good on that. And that is how you do each one. Now, the scan settings down here I kind of left because they're pretty standard. So let's go back up. We're going to save. And you can see uh, once you do that, then you'll want to create. You know, you can keep creating them if you, if you like. So you can edit them and make more. So that should get us going on how to create scanned files.